morning. It is Thursday. It's 543. Just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're starting a big project. It is a large driveway. Part of it's a removal. Part of it's already gravel. And then we're doing a large stamp patio and a long and wide front sidewalk. We're going to be here for a few days. There's a lot of work involved and it should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? It's been in the 90s all week long. And uh, look at where the sports drinks are. Almost <laughs> completely gone. Wow. Morning, you Jewel. <laughs> Morning. How come you're not by the coffee shop? Because I'm taking stuff out of the stock. Oh. It's a little bit left, Jewel. Yeah, I think you can get it out of there. Yep. Oh. They said next Monday it's only supposed to be 80 for a high, so yeah. that'll be nice. Hey, how's it going? Good, yourself? Good, how's business? Just getting there. Just getting yeah? There. Going pretty good. Yeah? Is it steady? Like, you get enough work? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Good morning. Morning, Ms. Z. How's it, how's it going this morning? Oh, so, so. Oh, I like these. I like to put them on top of my salads. Oh, really? Uh-huh. All right, thank you very day. much. We'll see you next time. Yeah. All right, I am just pulling into the yard. It is 6.15. I'm the first one here. Guys should be showing up shortly. Eric's here. Why do you got your trailer hooked up? And why are you so tired? I was gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna drop it off, but I'm gonna do it when I when we get out. Mike's here. Mike's just one of those type of guys that's never gonna be late, and he's never gonna do a no call, no show. Mike's truck right here has 600 horsepower to the wheels. It's all built, built Duramax. All right, we got some extra concrete here from yesterday's floor. We gotta, we gotta get off this truck. Which one? Uh, in the winter time, I put the fuel cell on there. Oh, it's too early for that, Eric. For the parade, yeah. Eric's gonna dance and then we go on the parade. That's what it's for. <laughs> this thing can do a burnout. Wow. <laughs> we'll have to film that sometime. <laughs> he said, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Morning. You better? Ah, uh, no, not totally better. I see you got your short shorts on today. I got my nice shorts on. Yep. It's gonna be hot. Go ahead, Junior. Oh. Those are like one step from a Speedo. Yep. Junior's not here today. Junior's not here today. I'm only bringing him once in a great while, man. He got so comfortable sleeping in the truck. I love Junior and I don't mind a nap once in a while, but sleeping all day in the truck is not going to cut it anymore. Sorry. Ah, the sweet sound of the 7.3. Love it. I think we'll bring a trailer today. Put mesh in so we're ready for the morning. I got concrete at 6.30 tomorrow morning. We're either going to pour the big patio or the front walk. It just kind of depends on a couple factors. Did you get the address I sent you? All right, that's it. We can go. Is that the place back there? No, it's right there. It's a new house. 
We're in Brookfield, we're not too far from where I live. Beautiful area right here, lots of mature trees. All right, I'm gonna walk you through the job here. So it's, it's a big driveway. This house is brand new. They tore down an old house, and this is a friend of mine. He built this house, and it's a big, beautiful house. But we're gonna remove the remainder of this asphalt. It's a big, big driveway. Marcel said he's looking forward to it. Right, Marcel? Yes, sir. <laughs> little guy. Yeah, right, little. It opens up into a big upper deck. I think it's 34, something like that, feet wide, and we're actually extending it in the back. I'll show you that. Really long front sidewalk. We're going six foot wide on the sidewalk. This is just standard concrete. The driveway standard concrete. And then I'll show you the back. So we're bringing the driveway 12 feet past the corner. He wants extra parking back here. And then we're going to bring that straight, that 12 foot straight through here. And then we're gonna open it up here. And then it's going all the way out to this pink line. So a big patio, and this is all stamped concrete. It's gonna be light gray, dark gray, large aster slate. So we're just getting the equipment down, getting pins and forms off, and we're gonna get started. So the plan for this job. Today, we're gonna to set up as far as we can. Uh, probably get most of this set up and then tomorrow morning. I got concrete at 630. We're gonna pour I was gonna pour the patio tomorrow morning But I think I'm gonna pour the front sidewalk tomorrow morning and then finish setting up whatever we haven't set up Monday morning, we're gonna pour the patio the bugs is gonna be back and it's gonna be a lot cooler So that's why I switched and moved the patio till Monday and then Tuesday Hopefully Tuesday we'll we'll pour the entire driveway and be done with this job. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna get started. Bro, you just see my closet to shoot. Be prepared. <laughs> I don't know what Eric's talking about. No idea. All right, I got this all flattened out. Now I'm gonna chalk my lines, get all my heights established, and then these guys can start setting this right away. This is a big job, but it's pretty easy, honestly. There's nothing difficult here. It's all pretty straightforward. There's no difficult pitches or anything like that. Really, the only problems that we could have is if Daryl wrecks something. Daryl, take a shovel and go along that step. And then right there, get that off the wall so we can snap lines and stuff. All right, they got seven and a quarters. Snap it again right there. That looks pretty good. It's gonna have a little bit of pitch going down towards the driveway, but that's all right. You're probably gonna need a few long pins over here in this corner. This drops off pretty good here. They were saying in the news today. Let me get that tape measure. Really hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's gonna be like 90 something. 90 something all week this week. Uh -huh. Ain't nothing new. At least we're not in Texas. 100 something. Forget that. So we're over 110 in some places. That's crazy. No, thank you. I won't want to pour concrete 113 degrees. No. Imagine pouring our concrete into 113. It'd be hard in five minutes. It would. Looks 
pretty good right there. Daryl, come and dump that gravel. Go get another load. We need a lot of gravel here. Have you gotten gravel and stuff with dump trucks? I have gotten it. I don't know where you get it from, though. But you know what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I'll have you go with him. If you know how to scale in and scale out and all that. I, mean, I can go with him if you want me to, just to make sure. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you do it? He's going to dump what he has first. Okay. But why don't you go just so you're more familiar yeah, and com comfortable with it, you know? Send in Mike with you so you don't stop at Chick-fil-A. Come on. Don't let him try to persuade you. Like, come on, Ryan won't know. It's okay. Don't listen to that stuff. Sopas. What did you say? Sopas. Sopas? Sopas. Hopefully it's not a swear word, Eric. Okay. When you get a chance, move all that stuff on that side of the form. I don't bring some of that dirt and just fill it in along that form build it up a touch yep okay. you want dirt from that pile over there yeah 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 i'm just gonna steal some of that and that's his topsoil so i'm not gonna take a lot of that but i'm just gonna fill in just under the form you know what i'm saying all right this can be set just start right here so I can come in and out with the bobcat. Okay. Alright, they're gonna set those couple two by fours there. I'm gonna start putting a little topsail along the edge there. Daryl should be back soon with another load of gravel and we can grade this patio area here. And then what I'm gonna do is move to the front. Did you just say your mom's on TikTok? Yeah, my mom has TikTok. She does? What does she make videos about? No, oh, she, just, she just Oh, she just watches. Yeah, they just oh. Watch my mom too. My dad's they send me pictures. Yeah, she From follows, TikTok? Yeah. She follows you. Dude, my mom would never go on TikTok. She didn't know nothing. She was like, oh, look, I got TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. <laughs> I'm like. Eric, take these three pins out. Take these three out so I can get in and out. Francisco. Four inches, not two and a half. <laughs> Next time it's the belt. There was back already. Yes. How fast was that? It's a big frog. Oh yeah, that is a big frog. Whoa, look at the frog, that. man. He looks old. That's how old. Look at him. Look at how do you know how old he is? Like <laughs> you're some kind of frog expert. <laughs> look at the yeah, look at those things on the back. Grab it. Where's his hat? <laughs> Man, he's hard to grab. Got him. <laughs> Ew, he really did pee on you. Oh, Daryl, go put him in the woods, man. You're gonna hurt him. Come on, Daryl. Go put him back there where he's safe. Are you ready to grade? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. You can dump that gravel up here. We need it all. and then we're gonna do our finish grade there was just so much gravel had to do it in two lifts again just like we did on the last patio
All right, patio's all graded. I dug out the upper deck here along the garage floor. Out here, it looks pretty good already. So I'm gonna set some strings on this side. You guys can set this for them. We'll start grading this. I gotta send Daryl for more gravel. Patio's all graded. It's getting compacted right now. Marcel's gonna set the rest of the forms back here. Everything's going good. It's uh, just about nine o'clock. All right, put a pin right there, right where you are, and then run a string from there to here so I can get a height on this pin, please. That hoop's coming down. He's getting a new one put in. Of course. I don't know, Daryl. Can I have it? Daryl, it's not my hoop to give you. Oh, I thought you were taking it You have it to down. ask the guy. I thought you were taking it down. No, I'm not taking it down. Daryl, why don't you go get some more gravel? Yeah. You want to do it? Sure. Feel good about it? Sure. Might as well. Yeah. Go ahead. Daryl lost the job. You know what he's going to do now, though? He's just going to stand here and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, right. Let's get, this gets a radius right here. Eric, did you hear me? Yeah. That gets a radius. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go start setting some pins on the front walkway. All right, I'm gonna start putting pins and strings up for this front walk. We do have to put one more step onto this stoop because the builders did the same thing like they usually do. They don't build a stoop out far enough with enough steps to get it to actual elevation. They just kind of always stop short. So, million dollar house million plus dollar house and uh there was just no forethought put into that either i'm not sure why that always happens but it does constantly putting add-on steps if i just took that height with one more rise and brought that around it would be way up on the siding i mean it's very obvious if anybody thinks about it where the height of the stoop should end up <clears throat> but it is what it is i wish i had jobs like this every day these jobs are easy. They really are. All right, that's gonna get them about an inch below the siding here. So that should work out absolutely perfect. Just like that. This one's all good to go, Eric. All right, this edge of the driveway is all set, ready for grading. Mike should be back soon with gravel. We'll get this graded out. Take it easy, man. Why do you want to kill me? I signed your checks. All right, I'm just running this other string down the other side for the guys. They're setting as we go. I gotta set that step there. I gotta rip a board, just six and a half, because we're gonna pour that with the sidewalk. I was just watching Mike Day last night, so I feel like I do. Oh, okay. Yep. And then I watched Concrete Ninja too, so I know how to screed now. <laughs> so I learned that. No, we're going to. You're not going in this house, Daryl. No, not a chance. 
They were no. All right, sidewalks all set and compacted. Step is set in the front. I'm gonna start taking this asphalt out down here. It's quarter to 11 right now, so things are going good. It's an easy job, so they should go quick. I wanna hear the good one or the better one? Both. We don't have no more glue for the boom. We have to get it in the yard. Is that all the felt we got? Yeah. That's not even enough. One driveway on top of the other. Got about four, four and a half to maybe five inches of asphalt here. It's a lot. Mike's pulling the tandem up. I'm gonna put the rest of this in his dump truck and then uh, then basically it's just bringing material in, bringing gravel, setting forms. Very easy. Once this guy sees how easy this job is and he knows how much he paid for all this, he's gonna be so mad. You got any waters in your box? Yeah. They took my water, man. Which box is yours? The, the, the one with the wheels. Oh yeah, you got the one with the wheels. Every time you come to work, it looks like you're going through the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's got his little lunch box on wheels. All right, we're gonna start grading this upper deck. Just working our way down the driveway. We'll grade this first and then we'll start setting the bottom. Hey, there was a construction guy that died in Wisconsin yesterday. I think it was up, up north, I think. He fell off scaffolding right onto a steel pin and the pin went right through his body and killed him. That's bad. Really? Yeah, really, it was on the news. The mailbox on 33 35 right behind this red truck is split at the bottom okay it's taken off i was here last night at 11 o'clock mailbox was up so. i i didn't i didn't hit it it's across the street yep somebody hit it for sure well it seems like you're upset well, I mean, but I don't know that we did it. I know for sure I didn't do it. No, that's fine. I'm just yeah. saying, obviously, I mean, right, if you guys... I was here last night until 11, so it's probably happened in the last four or five hours, right, since this morning. Possibly, or overnight. And I didn't pay. Okay. I'll go find out. If you guys yeah. are working on stuff, that's fine. I'll go ask them. 
Uh, yeah, you can ask them. I, I probably have a video of us showing up this morning, more than likely. I mean, if it was gone this morning, that would help at least. You know what right? I'm saying? I might have a video because yeah. I have my head cam on usually. Sure. So either if it, I, I, I'll, I'll check it and I'll get back to you. If we broke it, I'll replace it. But I really don't think we broke it to be completely honest. What time did you guys get here this morning? Like 7:15. Yeah. Something like that. Well, that would help pare it down, right? If. Oh, maybe. I mean, it's gonna take. I take a long time to go through the video. But if you got here and it was down, then I would know it was wasn't you guys it, or wasn't yeah right i don't know when i turn my camera on if i turn it on when i came out of the truck i don't think i turn my camera on until i was like up here in the driveway i might have it i don't know all right well the neighbor was upset accusing us of breaking his mailbox down today and the funny thing is he probably didn't expect this i actually have a video from my head cam of this morning pulling up with his broken mailbox got a nice open street here to work shouldn't be too busy because it's a dead end. There's only like six houses down this way. That's my truck just pulling up right now. That's the first truck to get here. Besides me, so. Cool, well I appreciate the info. I'll go talk to those guys here. Yeah, no problem. I mean, probably everybody's gonna say the same thing. It wasn't me. That's what, usually what you get, but. Well, I'm just flushing your shit. Man. No, I understand. I completely get it. Darryl walks up to me. He's like, the neighbor's not happy. He said he broke his mailbox. His mailbox is snapped and it's laying in the grass, you okay. know? So I go talk to the guy and he's like, you broke my mailbox. I was like, I don't think it was us. And he kind of rolls his eyes, you know? Yeah. And then I go, more than likely I got a video of me pulling up this morning. I can check the video. <laughs> so he's like, fine, you check the video. I said, I may or may, may not have it. So I go back and I check the video, it's <laughs> super clear. I walk right past it and I look over this morning. When we first got here, none of our trucks were here. Yeah. It's broken, laying in the grass. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is try to square the end of the driveway up with the, with the house, which I think I should be able to do. All right, that's what I'm gonna do right there. I'll let all this lawn drain right over the concrete. Yes, you could put drains in and all that, but this is Wisconsin. Drains freeze in the winter. They clog up with all these leaves. And uh, it's just going to cause issues. It's going to be a hassle. You're better off just letting the water run over the surface. So that's what we're going to do. Who compacted this? Marcel. Man. You did a good job. Nice man. job. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Bugs would be proud, man. Would be. Don't tell me you broke my hammer drill. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. You know how many times I've heard that? Mike was the last one we were using. I asked him what happened to it. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make it stay in. It's not, it's not staying in. This is probably gonna wreck it now. Probably. Yeah. Leave that one on this side, Daryl. Cause we're all out of lumber. And I need one, I need at least one over here. Eric, you really been working on that fell for like two hours. No, I'm serious, you have been. Bugs would be so disappointed in you right now. You know, apart. bugs is fast with the felt. All right, we're done. We're done. It's about 2.20 right now. 2.23. Eric. It's not even 2.30, man. What would happen if you work for another company that works till 8 o'clock every night? Oh, I did. I passed that one. <laughs> did you? I did. I did. All right, that was a pretty good day. It's about 2.30 right now, and you saw what we got done. Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite, and it is bright and early. It is 4.45. We're going to start a little early this morning at 5.30. I have concrete order for 6.30 for that front sidewalk. I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Beautiful morning this morning. 
birds are chirping. Sun's gonna come up in a little while. Morning, Jewel. Morning. Good, it's Friday, which is my favorite. I said it's Friday, which is my favorite. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> No, as soon as we're done Friday, I just I just have fun all weekend, Jewel. Yeah, I mean, I imagine. <laughs> Come on, Jewel. Uh, I have seven kids in a business. Yeah, I thought so. I'm doing stuff all the time. That's what you're supposed to do when you're my age. Morning, Mizzy. Good morning, how are you? Good, you getting wired up? Trying to. All right. It won't come up and go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Yep. We'll see you next time. All right, it is 5:22. I'm just pulling into the yard. Francisco's right behind me. Eric's here. I think I see Daryl too. All right. Oh, Daryl Jr.'s here. All right. Wow. You, yeah. sh you shaved your beard too? Yeah, of course. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Wow, you got shorts on? Yeah, it's gonna be Daryl, you got those short shorts on again? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Get some shorts like Junior. Why? Cause those are decent shorts for men. Wow, everybody's here early, and we're starting at 5:30, except for Marcel. Mike's not coming in today. He's got a. Uh, He's got an event that he had to uh, attend to. He told me about that a while ago. <clears throat> but we don't really need him. It's gonna be, honestly, it's gonna be a pretty easy day. I'm hoping everything goes right and we can really enjoy this day. Today is my 22nd anniversary. It's, today's, oh, gonna, just a catwalk, right? today's gonna be easy money. All right. Easy in, easy out. Yep. <laughs> Morning, Eric. What's up? You tired? Hello? I see your hair is nice again. Yeah. It always starts nice in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'll check it again after today. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning his hair is always perfect. Right? Yeah. Morning. It's all right. Morning. How come you shaved your beard? Nice. I know. I know it's gonna be hot out. Oh, nice. Yeah. So early. Nobody's even at Schmidt's yet. Oh my. They'll be there soon. Easy money today. Yup. Uh, <laughs> that was so uh, funny that we didn't break this boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. Dude. I know. I need nine and a half yards. Mm -hmm. Six bag, low chert, air, microfiber, five inch slump. You know what I usually say right now? Concrete ordered. Concrete ordered. Yay. All right, it is pretty early yet. It is 5.51. Why don't you leave that alone for a little bit? Yeah, it's pretty early, man. It's not even 6 o'clock in the morning yet. I mean, technically, we're not supposed to even be here till 7. But I'm willing to take my chances. Yeah, it needs to bend around this way. Yeah. Like this, like that. Where are you going with the level? Do you want it out here? Of course I want it. Okay. I always have a level handy, whether I'm setting up or pouring. We just got here and I see a nap in Daryl Jr's future. Short term future. Look at Eric running. Where is he running? He's running for the bathroom. The bathroom. He's running down the street. Oh, okay. Daryl said right on the line. No kidding, Daryl. Beautiful. You held it okay, but you're not as good as your son, I can tell you that. Come on. He's the best chalk line holder ever. Oh, that's true. Uh, what did you eat last night? I ate a quesadilla right now. Quesadilla? <laughs> right away, dude. What? <laughs> I saw you running down the street. I know. <laughs> 
I hear a concrete truck. I hear a concrete truck. There it is. Showtime. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Good. You don't mind being on the video, do you? No. Okay. Some people are wanted, you know what I mean? <laughs> Wow, he's sinking bad. <laughs> You're going down. Just don't don't move. Why don't you just just swing a shoot, okay. dump some out, okay. and then back all the way out and start a new path. Okay. Cause you're going down pretty good. I mean, you're not about stuck, but you're getting there. Pull the wire and pull the rod up. You pull the rod, it doesn't, it doesn't do separate, okay? How the rod's gonna be in the leg. Okay, we'll be like, don't feel ready. Are you guys fighting already? Yeah. It's Friday, man. I know, and it's not even like 7 o'clock. Yeah, you guys are fighting already. It's Friday, man. I know, and it's not even like 7 o'clock yet. I know. Are you tired already? Oh, it's warm. It's white and it's warm. Yeah, it hasn't really set up much at all. I mean, a little bit. It's really good, though. It's just about perfect. I'm in and what do you think you're doing? You. Oh! Hold on. Just look at that. There's a little spot. up there. No, I don't. No, I don't. It'll be alright. A rod too high at the surface. Don't want that. Well, you're to me. That's 
Eric believes in you? Yeah. Like the same way that kids believe in Santa Claus? <laughs> all right, concrete's all bull floated. Eric and Francisco are edging. It's almost like a little driveway. It's pretty cool. The house was so big, I offered them a four foot sidewalk and uh, they said that was too skinny. Then we went to five foot. They thought it was still too skinny. So then we went to six foot, which it looks good. Honestly, it does. This house is enormous and it fits the scale of the house pretty well. I don't know how many square feet it is, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful house. Miami. Hawaii. Hawaii. Uh. <laughs> Daryl, if we ever reach a million subscribers, I'll take us all to Hawaii. Yeah, Dubai. Hawaii? Dubai. Yep. Sheesh. Hey, show me how Daryl Jr. will be dancing. If we take a ship there. <laughs> you want to go on a cruise ship to Hawaii? Well, I'm not taking planes. I'll take a plane. Oh, you don't like planes? Oh, he's going to get shipped. <laughs> planes crash. Ships sink. I'd rather, I'd rather crash. Rather crash. I'd rather crash than sink because yeah. when you sink, you die slow. Exactly. Yeah. Like you'd be, you'd be swimming around for like. <laughs> oh, you guys would die right away. You can't swim. <laughs> you got fruit. Yeah. I always have fruit every day. You do? Yeah. Well, I do too, but not at work. I had grapes. Yeah. You know what I like to eat? Huh. Cherries. Cherries are so good. I'll bring those in Monday. I was just eating a bag of them the other day with my wife. Oh, they're awesome. Mm hmm. All right, so the concrete's all down. The guys are just about done edging it. I'm gonna go ahead and mark some joints out. I think it's a little wet yet for joints. Oh yeah, it's too wet for joints right now. But it'll be ready soon. Sidewalk six foot wide. I think I'm gonna go five foot sections and make them five by six. That should look pretty nice. Somebody that watches the channel had a great idea. They said I need to get a can of wax for the truck. And when you're leaning against the truck, at least you can buff it out. That's their idea. And I kind of like it. <laughs> Turtle wax. <laughs> I'll have the shiniest hood on the planet. Oh, man. <laughs> it's just about ready for joints. I don't have any forms for this. I have no more wood. I have to use the wood from the sidewalk to set the rest of the driveway. But I don't mind. We actually got quite a bit of work done in the last uh, week and a half, two weeks because the three week period before that was no good. But we're back on track now, back on schedule, just about. So we're fine, we're good. I do have to sell some more work now because I have more, more guys, Bugs is coming back and I just hired Mike. So we're gonna burn through jobs a lot faster. So that just means I have to concentrate more on sales. I get a lot of leads, a lot, a lot of leads. I just don't have time to do all the sales, but I'm gonna have to make time and just uh, make it a priority now sell out the rest of the season the menards and it was a lot better yeah yeah it all depends where's the light for the bobcat junior's pretty upset about that it's in the mac huh it's, it's in, in the, the mac yeah uh, nobody stole that light oh. yeah it's in the mac <laughs> Out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You already know you're not cutting the joint. This job is for one of our state senators, Daryl. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving him crooked joint. I told you yesterday, if we mess this job up, he'll probably pass the law 
making it illegal for Victory Outdoor Services to do business in Wisconsin oh, forever. Yeah. We'll be so, shut down. So we have to do a nice job. Immediately shut down. Yeah. I'll do a good job. Trust me. This is kind of strange, but it's harder at the end than where we started. And I'm not talking about that little sliver in the sun. Even when it's been in the shade, for whatever reason, it's setting faster at the end of the load than the beginning of the load. I don't understand that. But that's what's happening. So we're going to have them finish backwards. Daryl Jr. was like, we are going to break auto brake and clutch today and buying more orange lights. <laughs> but he didn't ask me. He told me. I was like, are you paying? He's like, no. <laughs> right. I said, you got money? Yeah, you guys work this way. I'm going to I'm gonna pull the pins at the step mm -hmm. and start finishing that. And then once you guys get down there, the we'll kind of finish. Yeah, I'll get it. And then we'll kind of finish at the same time for the most part. Junior. Grab that. I got it. Okay. <sighs> you can drop it. Yep. Yeah, right. He he uses the brains, we use the muscle. Ah. Yes. Here they are, neck and neck. He's <laughs> leading forward now. Oh, ah! Eric jumps over to the next square. Francisco's trying to catch up. Uh oh. I'm not in the next square. Come on. I'm coming down the sidewalk brooming everything's going good we're almost done almost done last two squares hey next week when Bob comes back he's gonna yell at you again oh yeah you gotta be ready to yell on me yep I don't know about that he's gonna yell at you and punch your dad's teeth out that's what I'm <laughs> expecting He's gonna try that. Yeah, start changing things up. He yelled at me. Ooh. Oh. Knock him on the ground. Oh! oh. oh. Wow! Oh, Junior that. said he's gonna knock Bugs out. Man. Junior Fury. That's why he was, what, 65? One of my grandpa Bob. Oh! Alright, sidewalk's all done. Daryl did most of the work himself, right? Yep. Yep. Daryl's picking up the pins. Uh, alphabetized numbers. Yep, Long. organized. And uh, we Here just need to slap some forms down there and grade it. Here's your check. Thank you. Do you and, think it would And we're going to talk later about what you asked for. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. You better start on this one again right. for grading. You want your check? Sure. Mr. Eric. Do you want your check? Oh, this guy didn't show up. Daryl, your dad's coming. You better move your booty. Hmm? You better watch out. Oh, what's he doing? He's coming. He's going to get more gravel. You going with him? 
Go ahead. I know, he wants to come with you. All right, forms are all set. We're gonna go ahead and get this graded out, compact it, and get out of here. But that's all we got to do today. Daryl's got to hurry up with that compactor and uh, put the tools away. He's got to hook up the trailer, and that's it. Actually, I'm going to kick him off the compactor so he can go hook up the trailer so we can get out of here quicker. All right, we're done for the day. I'll see you guys next Monday. Adios. 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 Adios, amigos. <laughs> Adios. Peace out. Adios. Adios.